Hi, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor, and welcome to the episode two of Coffee Talk with Eric. So today, I thought I share a topic on fully satisfying yourself, and I just want to share about how I fully satisfy myself. That's something I have been doing occasionally. When I kind of feel like I'm feeling really tired, I want to sort of recharge myself or just really put my mind and everything into ease. Now, this is gonna sound like I'm some sort of life coaching guru or whatever it is, but I am not. So I'm just sharing with you what I do. So for you, that may be something entirely different. But if you don't really have a you know, quote unquote ritual that will help you to kind of relax yourself completely, feeling fully satisfied. I think this is something that maybe you can try a little bit. So I was sharing about how I feel I'm a little bit too late as I'm turning forty. And first of all, I really want to thank you for all of your positive message and comment to me, and all your support and encouragement. I am actually overwhelmed that somebody like me, just like an ordinary guy, sharing something, is resonating with so many people and getting so much feedback and support. So I really, really appreciate you with all the love and support that coming my way. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So back to what we're talking about. So as I was feeling a little bit. Sort of depressed. I mean, not too depressed, but just kind of you know feeling a little bit down under the weather. And I started to thought that well, as a human being, we have five senses. I mean, six sense if you're counting you know, spiritually or emotionally or whatever. But our basic need is just trying to satisfy our five senses, right? And our five senses, which is pretty much our eyes, our nose, our mouth, ears, and sense of touch. So I thought that if I can satisfy all of that five senses, maybe it will be easier for me to come in peace and feeling a little bit more relaxed. And maybe stuff that I was worrying about. Might seem a little bit less important. So then one day I just tried to find a quiet time, and in my tiny house in my studio, I make a coffee, and I try to play some music that I really like, something that makes me relax, and I light up a candle with a scent that I like, and I do that so that kind of satisfy my sense of hearing, my sense of taste, which is coffee. I really like coffee. And then also my sense of smell because the scent of the candle that you know also makes me kind of feeling happy and kind of joyful, and then I start to read a book that I like, a watercolor art book by Nick Runge. Sometimes I will also maybe just look out the window. I have some beautiful trees outside. I mean, they're not my tree; they're actually my neighbor's tree, but I can see those, and they're really really nice to look at. Or sometimes maybe just look at a photo, something that you like to see. And then it was a little bit chilly that day, so I grab a blanket, a very comfortable blanket, and kind of wrap myself around it. So it was really really nice that I spent about like fifteen to twenty minutes just doing that, just listen to the music that I really like, drink the coffee, and smell the scent from the candle that I like. And read the book, looking at the art that really inspires me, that really makes me happy. So just try to set up a whole environment just to kind of satisfy all of my five senses. Again, it's gonna be sound like I'm some sort of guru. I'm not. I'm just trying to figure out a way to really make myself feel satisfied. So everything that I did is actually not that hard to set up. You just set up the things that you really enjoy. Based on what you like to listen, what you like to taste, what you like to smell, and so on. And when I did that for about fifteen and twenty minutes, I really feel this immense satisfaction. Even though just kind of temporary, it kind of set the tone for the day, and it kind of just really put my mind in ease at times. And I just feel really, really. Peaceful and calm and joyful and satisfied, and I think that's something that's really really helpful, because when we kind of come back to the basic of our human need, it's just that five senses, and if we can kind of satisfy them in a very easy way, and I think we can feel that 
is actually not that hard to be happy if you really think about it. Now, after that five senses, I think emotionally, we can always try to find a way to think about happy thoughts and think about good memories that you have and just try to think of positive things, you know, that things that make you happy, things that make you joyful or sometimes doing things that you start to feel really happy with. In my case, when I'm reading that watercolor book, it kind of make me my thought into his art and thinking about art and everything that which also kind of makes me exciting and happy as well. So what those means for you, I don't know because we're all different. Something that makes me happy doesn't necessarily make you happy. Maybe you don't like coffee. Maybe you like tea instead, or maybe you don't like tea, or maybe you actually need a little cup of wine or whatever it is, whatever that means for you. And we start to get ourselves into a setting that is really comforting and satisfying us. And we start to think about good memories and positive thoughts and just trying to be happy. And I feel like when we do that, at least when I do that, things that worries me kind of fade back a little bit. They kind of take a back seat a little bit. And sometimes that's a perfect time for me to maybe do a little bit of prayer. I'm a Christian, but again, we all have different belief and faith. So if you have something else you want to meditate or whatever, that can be a good time to do it as well. Whatever it is for you, I think it's important that we find a way to fully satisfy ourselves and fully try to relax ourselves. Because I feel like the world we're living in right now, whether you are going through social media, you are going through YouTube and whatever. And even when you're just shopping at the grocery store, there's always this constant feeling that do you need this? Do you need that? And maybe you want this and they're trying to advertise things to you that want you to get more kind of want to send you the message that you are never satisfied. You always want more. If you're making a good amount of living, you need to be like a millionaire. You need to be a billionaire or whatever it is. And sometimes we'll forget that our basic human need is actually not that much. It's actually not that many. And sometimes if we can find a way to satisfy our need, maybe we can feel a lot better about our life and everything that's happening to us right now. So I hope this little sharing is helpful for you. And maybe you also have your own way to feeling relaxed and completely satisfied. And if you do, I do love to hear from you. You can put it down below so maybe we can all benefit from that. So that's it for this Coffee Talk with Eric. I hope you enjoy that and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. I will see you guys next time.